Looky what I found today on Craigslist. I just picked it up. I brought it home. Uh, I haven't messed with one of these in probably 10, 15 years. And uh, I don't know. I just wanted to play with one again. Um, I don't remember what happened. I had at least two of them many, many years ago. Uh, probably in the process of moving, I threw them away or who knows. Luckily, I still got the computer, so I got a couple, at least one or two computers that will, that is compatible with this. Um, the only thing I, I did not get with it, I came with everything, even threw, even threw in some paper, although it looks <laughs> kind of old, but I got some paper, but, but I do have a box of paper with the holes in it. And you can use these printers with just regular paper. There's a, a, it's been, oh yeah, here it is. There's a lever here that you can switch it to the whole, uh, you can feed paper without the holes, but you can only feed it one sheet at a time. Because I've done it many years ago. Um, let's see, uh, came with the power cord, which was nice. Uh, the only thing he didn't have, Luckily, I still had one. Uh, it took me a while to find one, but I did finally find a, uh, the cable. It's uh, It almost looks like S-Video, but it's not S-Video. It's kind of Apple's own proprietary uh, plug. Uh, but yeah, I was had a heck of a time finding that. So I do got that. This will allow me to hook it to my 2GS or the Macintosh. Uh, another thing I found, I didn't know I had such a thing, it's the same one, uh, it's got the this on one end, but it's uh, got this on the other. I have, this was like 15 years ago, I remember hooking one of these to a, a what the heck was it, a 486 or a Pentium 1? You can hook these to a, a a PC. It's not strictly Apple. You can. Uh, it's just been so long since I've done it, but I, I might be able to get get. I might be able to print, do some printing with a modern PC, with uh, this cable. So it's something to look at. Let's see what do we got here. Uh, ooh, wow, that's that's impressive. Um, usually these only came with uh, the 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 black, just the black cartridge. But uh, yeah, there's actually a color ribbon in there. Um, yes, these do these print in color. Uh, yeah, you wouldn't think a dot matrix could print in color, but uh, yeah, it, it can print in color. So yeah, that's kind of cool that there's a ribbon in there, and it looks like it's in pretty decent shape yet too. Um, I got it all here in the garage. I'm going to definitely blow the dirt out of it. It's a little dirty. Uh, I did manage to find. I knew I kept some. That one's probably all dried up. I don't know. But I did have a couple of more ribbons uh, sealed in a bag. Hopefully, I don't know if they're good or not, but they were sealed in a Ziploc bag, so I'm hoping that they're still good yet. Hopefully there's some ink left. So, we'll see. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to open this up here. and um, There's not a whole lot that can go wrong with these. Oh, somebody didn't load this paper right. <laughs> Paper's not even loaded right. Um, but yeah, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong with these. I mean, these things are pretty indestructible. But, yeah, these are supposed to... You must have, somebody must have put the paper in there didn't know how to do it, but yeah, you're supposed to line these up with these little tracks here. Let's see. I'm trying to do this one-handed. It's a little hard to do it one-handed. These are adjustable, too. You can slide these back and forth but uh, yeah not to... anyway I'm going to open it up and it's actually uh, pretty clean it doesn't look half bad let's see if I remember how to remove these I think there's a clip over here uh, let's see you almost need two hands to do this anyway you, you push on these two little tabs and it'll pop up there we go so oh yeah it's a little dusty yeah, it actually looks like it's in pretty decent shape. Belt looks good. I mean, other than a little dust. Uh, it is yellowed a little bit. Nothing a little uh, peroxide can't fix, but that I won't be able to do until this summer. 
you want nice good sunshine before you do the, they call it retro brighting. So, but uh, I definitely won't be doing that till this summer. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I'll blow it off, uh, clean it up a little bit, and uh, see if I can dig out. I'm thinking I'm gonna dig out the Apple II GS. That's probably the most compatible computer with it. And we'll see if it prints anything. So, back in a few. Well, I have everything set up. <laughs> I don't know if I set it up right, but I guess we're going to find out. Okay, well, let's just see if this thing even... Oh, well, if I turn that... Not if I turn that on. Okay. Sounds promising. Okay, I think I got the paper lined about right. Okay, let's see if the old apple will work today. That's a good sign. Okay, I, I might have them hooked up backwards. I can't remember. I think this has got to be connected first, then the floppy. I might not have them daisy chained right. Hold on. Okay, I think I got this correct. You want the five and a, or three and a half first, and then it daisy chains to the five and a quarter. I think that's, I had it backwards, I think. So, it's been a while since I used this stuff, so who knows, maybe that drive doesn't work at all, so. Let's spit it out for some reason. Come on. Uh-huh. Well, I might have to clean a drive or that drive doesn't work. Hold on. Alrighty, I don't feel like taking that drive apart right now. I do have an older version of the print shop on five and a quarter, and I think this five and a quarter drive works okay yet, so... I just want to see if the printer at least is going to work, so we're going to try that. a good sign. Aha! Okay, so at least my five and a quarter is working okay yet. Oh, what should we make here? Hmm. Uh, let's just make a sign. Let's keep it simple. Let's see, what do we want? Oops. Oh, let's do a birthday cake. This, this, this is just going to be a quick test. We'll do medium. Custom layout. Let's see. Let's do it. Oops. That has been a while. We'll just do it in the middle. Uh. Par Oops, party. Yeah, that sounds good. Uh, just put uh, happy birthday. Um, why is, boy, this keyboard ain't working either. I gotta do some work on this. Well, let's see. Well, the F key works. The H key is not working. Uh, how about test? Why not? I don't know. Alrighty. Uh, let's check setup. I do believe you can check. Yeah, image writer. And we have four color. Uh, I believe it's super serial. Oh, what slot? Oh, I can't remember. I think it's seven. Nope. <laughs> I think I screwed that up. 
Alrighty, hold on. I'm going to do some thinking here. Okay. I grabbed the keyboard off the Macintosh because I know this keyboard works. Um, I'm just going through the setup and I went online and did some looking. Uh, Super Serial on the 2GS is slot 1, not 7. It's amazing what you forget over the years. So, okay, to make sure printer is on, line level. I think we're all set to go here. Let's see if this does anything. <gasps> hey! I do believe... Let's see, what is it? Line feed? Yep, here we go. Hey, look at that. Not bad. Okay, okay, so it does work. Let's see, you gotta put it back online. Okay. Alrighty, uh, press return to save setup. Okay. Now I believe we can print something. Okay. What are we gonna do? Oh, we're gonna print a sign. Oh, I forgot how slow this stuff is. <laughs> okay. Design our own picture. Let's see. You know what? It's Valentine's Day. We should do a heart. Or it's going to be Valentine's Day. What is today? Yeah, it's going to be Valentine's Day in a few days. So make it medium. Uh, custom layout. We want to keep it simple. Center. Uh, let's do party. Let's put I love you uh, center yes okay border let's make that oh whoa, 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 whoa. back how do you change the color oh up and down oh let's see use space bar to, oh space bar let's see let's make the border red or no let's make it yellow uh, heart, let's make that red, font black back on, yeah, I think I can, okay, can we do a preview before we print, yes, oh wait, yes, preview, give us an idea what it kind of is going to look like here, um, Um, okay. <laughs> well, it looks like crap on there. Well, let's see. We'll, we'll print. We'll see what it does. Oh, thinking. How cool is that? <laughs> printing. Oh, thinking. Oh, now we're printing again. Hard to see, though. Oh, I forgot how slow these things were. Uh, the yellow is a little, well... Yeah, you can see the yellow. Now oh, it's coming out of there. Should be getting to the heart and the letters here pretty soon. Come on. I should have skipped the border. Guys, just bring back memories. <laughs> printing. Oh, here we go. Now it's printing the heart. Boy, this thing is slow. <laughs> I forgot how slow these things were. Look at that sucker shaking the whole damn table. <laughs> wow. Come on.
thinking? What's to think about? Jeez. I see a heart. Come on. Alright, it's taking too long. You got the heart. We're gonna skip the border. Let's see, how do we stop this? Okay, skip to main menu. Well, I would say for being a 30 year old printer, that's not bad. Black could be a little darker, and but I mean, remember the ribbon. It's funny there's even in, in, ink left in that period, and that was the the cartridge that came with it. I didn't try my cartridges yet, but hmm. anyway, it, it it works. How cool is that? Now I just got to get that other disk drive clean, and then I can use the more upgraded version of Print Shop. The next thing I uh, I might tackle, I do have the cable here. This end plugs into the printer, and this is parallel port. And I did one time, long time ago. I think I'm going to use my Windows 98 machine over here. That does have the parallel port yet for a printer. So it's uh, finding the right software. Yeah, I don't remember exactly how I did it. But it is possible to do it, and I did it on a. It's either Windows 95 or Windows 98, but you can use these on a PC. It's just been so long since I've done it, but I'm gonna have to save that for another day. At least I know the printer works anyway, so that was fun. So I definitely got to do some work on this old girl. Like I say, clean disk drive up, and I did want to, have to work on another keyboard too. Something wrong with that keyboard. Half the keys ain't working, so I'll have to rip that apart and clean it. But. It was nice pulling this old girl out again, just to see if it works. I like to do that every once in a while. Just see if it still works. So, I guess that's all for now. Bye.